I get excited when I think about Anna Louise's work because whenever I've gone, it's always been very unexpected. It's been very vibrant. It's been very multicultural in its content and its theme, um, which is something that I've always approached uh, from a really passionate perspective because, because being an artist myself and being of a non-Anglo background, it's very difficult to get work in many um, areas of our profession. So when I go and see a show that Anna Louise has choreographed or directed or performed in, not only is the content very kind of soul-searching, very deep, very um, uh, thought-provoking, it's also very light, it's also very um, unusual, and the mix of music and dance and the styles of those, of that music and dance is always very kind of, I find just very kind of intriguing as well. But one thing that I really love is the fact that she usually has a very diverse group of dancers and performers, and I find that's pretty exciting. Um, I love dance or performance work or movement work that is um, different as well as, um, interestingly uh, different as well as kind of accessible because I don't want to go see something that is so kind of fantastically out there that one doesn't understand it or enjoy it. So not only is Anna Louise's work very kind of very interest, kind of interesting and unusual, but it's also very accessible and I really love that about her work as well. I think generally speaking, um, I just find her work really fun and very interesting, really uh, really good rate to watch. You go for what is a one hour program and it seems like it's gone in five minutes. So that's always a true test of something that's enjoyable, I suppose. So I think that I have no hesitation at all in, in, in promoting and um, proclaiming how great Anna Louise Paul's work is because I'm a friend for sure, but I'm a great fan and I'm also really mean about things. And if I like it, I like it. If I don't like it, even if you're a pal, I'm not gonna say, wow, that was great.